control to Lone Wolf. Parachute into hostile territory. Locate enemy concentration camp. Release captives interned there. Repeat. Operation Wolf, an exciting new concept in computer games in which the enemies shoot at you from the screen. Gun in hand, you must traverse hostile terrain, seeking your fellow countrymen being held prisoner in a concentration camp. Make your way through jungle filled with hostile soldiers, destroy any enemy installations, and free all townships you encounter, with no food, no water, no chopper cover, not nearly enough ammo, and no idea if you're going to make it back. Volunteers only! So, hello and welcome back again to Binnis Retro. I'd like to thank uh, Watos Norkus or Mr. James O'Grady for the fantastic uh, help with the intro here. And uh, I'd also like to thank Violet Berlin for her help with the voiceover. You can find both on Twitter and you can also find uh, Watos Norkus on YouTube, of course. A legend in the retro community on YouTube. So, the game we're doing today is this one. Operation Wolf. This is a game that I feel is not talked about all that much today, uh, but in 1988, this was a big deal. Like it says here, the number one arcade game of 1988, which is not completely true, it's, it's, it's the number two game when I did my research. Uh, but Ocean says here, the number one arcade game of 1988 is recreated perfectly. Six levels of thrilling coin of action are brought to life on your home micro. This was a huge game, and uh, Ocean was so uh, bullish about their port here that they actually only had Sinclair Spectrum screenshot on the back, which was very rare. Usually they would, uh, or most companies when they did these arcade ports, they would just only show the Atari ST or Amiga uh, screenshots. But this game, this was all over your Sinclair. But I've never played it, and I'm going to fix that today. So a little bit about my channel. If this is your first Finnish retro video, the concept is in short that I am an Icelandic retro gamer who grew up with the Sinclair Xerox Spectrum being my only computer from 10 years all the way from 1982. Living in Iceland, I however didn't play most of the big games, nor the strange budget titles, but I did fantasize about all of them from reading your Sinclair magazine. These videos are my way of tapping into this nostalgia and actually playing these games. For the longer version of this story, uh, please look at my channel introduction video. So, what is this game that we're talking about? Operation Wolf is a light gun arcade shooter game developed by Taito and released back in 1987. The game was a critical and commercial success, becoming one of the highest grossing arcade games of 1988 only to be beaten out by Afterburner, and it won many awards, including the Golden Joystick Award for Game of the Year. Operation Wolf is credited in evolving the light gun shooter genre by departing from the classic shooting gallery, carnival and cartoon themes that had previously dominated the genre, and it moved over to more realistic and violent military themes, popular in movies like Commando, Rambo and even Platoon at the time. The home computer versions were critically well received and topped the UK sales chart for the microcomputers in 1988, only to be replaced later by the almighty Robocop. This has always confused me, because to me, seeing from afar, it didn't take mu make much sense that this game would work with just a keyboard. Most conversions didn't have light gun access or even a mouse, although the Spectrum did get a special uh, light gun hardware bundle. Uh, with the Sarah Spectrum Plus 2 and Plus 3 from Amstrad. A gun called Magnum Light Phaser, which I have no recollection of ever seeing in the wild and I'm pretty sure it never got, came to Iceland. The default home version of Operation Wolf was a keyboard controlled one. But 
what is this game about? So, assuming the role of Special Forces Operative Roy Adams, the player attempts to rescue five hostages who are being held captive in enemy territory. Six stages with military action movie style themes like Concentration Camp, Jungle and Willits. And in order to complete each stage, the player must shoot a required number of soldiers and vehicles, trucks, boats, helicopters, armored transport, as indicated by an on-screen counter before advancing to the next stage. Now let's look at the Serex Spectrum port. What was the reception like? So Kras gave it a crash smash, asking directly what more you could anyone ask for in a shoot em up. Operation Wolf is simply the business. They also recommended that you search out Operation Wolf and it blasts into your local computer store soon, but that you should be warned, it won't take any prisoners. So a final score of 91% with presentation being 88, graphics 90, sound 82, playability 90, and addictive qualities at 88. Sinclair user gave it its classic stamp, starting the review with a shouty and jubilant Let's come back. In their view, the game was to quote, virtually flawless, addictive, violent, and unsound, one for everyone's Christmas list. They even put the game on their cover as well as applied a nice poster and at the end of 1988 Sinclair user gave the game the Over the Top Game of 1988 award for the shooting game most likely to push you over the edge. Their final breakdown score was an overall 90 with 90 in graphics, 70 in sound, 80 in playability and 92 in lasting ability. My guys and your Sinclair were also impressed with their own 9 out of 10 score, which on their 1 to 10 scale translated to MEGA. To quote their conclusion, they implore the reader to beg, steal or borrow a copy of the game, if you really enjoy a bit of mindless violence on your machine. Final breakdown score of a 9 total, with 9 in graphics, 9 in playability, 10 in value for money, and 10 in addictiveness. So, Operation Wolf, I'm excited. This game looks cool. Let's see if I can get ready. It's time to go into the jungle. And here we are, Operation Wolf. Really nice music. I really love Ocean's music from this era, like 87, 88. Robocop was awesome. Um, Platoon had amazing music. I think the Platoon music might be my favorite Pink Clair Serra Spectrum music of all time. This is good as well. Pretty good. So let's, let's define the keys. We have an up and we have a down, left, right, a fire and a grenade. Simple enough. Um, and we're supposed to shoot everything that moves and we'll get a counter. That's, that's, that's what it said. Uh, kill a certain amount of people. Let's see how this, how this looks. Yeah. Rescue the hostages. Five grenades. Keep them from increasing. <laughs> okay. Increasing to what? Oh! And now I start. Can I shoot this? Oh. I'm just shooting all over the place here. This is fast! It's like... Ah! Instant action! Ah, can I shoot the knife? Nope, I cannot shoot the knife. The grenades here. I've, I've sustained a lot of damage here. No. Oh, there was a bomb that killed everyone. I like that. Why is there a duck there? Or what is it? Ah, these knives. This doesn't look good. But I'm getting very close here. Ah, you sustained a lethal injury. Sorry, but you are finished here. 
I have to say, this is impressive. Oh, there's a continue. Let's see what happens if I continue. Start from the beginning or from where I... Six magazines, two grenades. Oh, we don't start. We start from the beginning. Oh, there's nurses here. I'm pretty sure I'm not supposed to shoot those. Yeah, I feel this is this game is really impressive. It's it's very smooth, smooth scrolling, instant action. You know exactly what you're supposed to be doing. I am impressed. Um, I'm not gonna say it's easy because it's not. Oh, I'm I'm already gotten a lot better at this. Can I shoot the helicopter? Oh, I couldn't can shoot the helicopters with the. But I feel like I'm still shooting all over the place, wasting ammo everywhere. Okay. But I instantly feel like I got better. Ah, uh, I feel the grenades when I shoot the grenades. They should actually kill the people around. That's my view on it. These helicopters, wow! Got so close. But the helicopters are so difficult. I need to figure out how to kill these helicopters. A great score, first game, Operation World. Okay, I'm gonna check a little bit better how I can kill these helicopters, but I, I feel like I got really close. And this game is fun. That's my first reaction. So, I've played this now for half an hour and I finally finished level 1. And I figured out there's a there's a strategy to this. Um, so, saving up your grenades until the end. Don't use your grenades until there's at least like one armored vehicle and a helicopter or preferably two helicopters on the stage. So, you just ignore them in the beginning, you just shoot all the soldiers that are coming up against you. And in the end of the level, it starts to flood the screen with helicopters and, and armored vehicles, and you might even get like three at the same time with a single grenade. So you save up the grenades until the end. Um, so this is the... And this worked! I finally finished level one. But man, this game is fun! Okay, let's see what level two looks like. I get $10,000. Lucky me. Okay. You succeeded in demolishing the communications. Ah, oh, this is so fast. Jungle. Craft enemy information about the location of the concentration camp. No grenades! Oh. Okay. And I still have the same. Same health from the first level. Wow, this is tough. Oh, I got a grenade. Oh, there's a guy running. I'm probably not supposed to shoot him. I wonder if I'm also supposed to shoot the... The ducks and the animals running around. Yeah. This is extremely difficult. I thought I would get new health and new... Okay. Let's continue though. Let's see what happens. Ah, two grenades. So this is what the, what is good about the... So I'm saving up here. This is what is good about the continue. Clearly. You need... Oh, now I've got two of them. There's a lot of supplies and, and stuff. Ah, I only got one this time. Okay, did I get something from killing the chicken? Maybe I got this chicken fly. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that... Okay. Okay, this is going okay. Yes. I'm trying to get these things. I still have a lot left. Jesus. This second level is no joke. 
Okay, do I get sick? Ah, oh, okay. I figured it out. I cannot sick and fly if I if I kill the chicken. Okay. Going okay. Let's get on one of the chickens I hear. So you kill a chicken and it just it just flies into the air and comes back as a chicken thigh. Makes sense. Okay. This was pretty good. Let's see if I can get in it further after 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 playing it for maybe half an hour more. So I finally finished level two, but it's not going well for Mr. Operation Wolf. Um Yeah, I am at one bar of health left. I don't think I have many magazines and no continues. But let's see what happens. Let's check out level three. Okay. It was sweated out of the enemy. Willets. Kill all enemies and take a rest. Yes, I think I need a rest after playing this for two hours. Okay. There's a late. What was the lady doing there? Okay. Got some supplies in the beginning, so I might just survive a little bit. Nothing happening. Calm before the storm, maybe. Yeah. Another lady. What? She's, she's just running around there. And it. Oh, okay. And when I. When I used the grenade, I killed the lady that was running around there. Okay, this is fun. This is a good game. I think I am ready to summarize it. Let's 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 do that now. So let's summarize this game. Operation Wolf, uh, a really cool arcade conversion from Ocean. What I find really interesting about Ocean is that I've, I've watched a bit of American retro uh, YouTube and usually when it come, comes to like NES games, Nintendo games, uh, Ocean is very much hated. Like they made really bad games for the NES or one of the worst ones. It's very hyperbolic and, and the Americans don't like them. Um, but Ocean really was great for the single set spectrum. In many ways, uh, sometimes they went maybe a little bit too far in their in their movie licensing, and uh, it was not all perfect, but they did make a lot of great games. So let's summarize this one: Operation Wolf. Uh, what does forty-five-year-old Binny think about it? Does he like it? And the answer is yes. It's really fun. It holds up really well. It it scrolls very smoothly. Not all that much slowdown. Uh, it's very clear what you're supposed to be doing. Um, and I enjoyed myself. It was, it was, I, I forgot about the world. I for, forgot about everything was happening while I was playing this game. And to me, that is a, sounds like a really good game. That's a, that's a, that's a good rating. Uh, do I think uh, eight to nine year old Benny, well, actually 10 year old Benny would have liked this game because it came out in 87. And yes, I, I, <laughs> I would have. I would have gone crazy about this one. I would have loved it. I, I would have thought it was amazing. I would probably have played it to death until I got to level four. <laughs> it seems like to be to be the ultimate challenge here. I don't know. Did anyone finish this game without any hacks or anything? Can anyone in the in the comments talk about did they were they able to finish this? Um, and the last one, will I ever play it again? Yes, I think so. I think. The only fault I can find with this game is just the one continue. I did not like that you don't start the next level with full health and, and full ammunition, full grenades, all that stuff. Uh, so it really, when you start at level two or level three, it kind of felt wasted because you were you were you were beaten up after the after, after the last level. So yeah, it. To get to level 3, I really needed to continue. I don't know, is it even possible? Is Yeah, tell me in the comments. And yes, overall, fantastic game. Uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start ranking the games as well. 
Uh, this is my third video. I've done three games. So let's let's go into a little bit of ranking here with, with the games I've, I've played so far. Let's test this out. I know this is a big old cliche. Everyone is doing it. But this is for me and I think I'll get enjoyment about uh, if, if I do this. So these are the first three games I've done. And let's start with Taipan. I'm gonna put Taipan in the A, uh, which means that it was it was good. I would have liked it when I was young. I like it now. It was it was a little bit flawed, but good game. Um, B and C. I'm gonna define that later. F, if, of course, if it's if the game is just impossible. And S is like the game is great. Would have loved it then. Would have loved it now. I uh, would, would, would love love it now and and will play it again. And I just think it's. It has that extra thing. So, Taipan and an A. Really good game. Uh, Whistball, also at A. It, it was a really good game. Uh, slightly marred by the fact that the C64 has a rare better version. Let's let's call it that. Um, I would say most Sinclair Spectrum games are better than the C64 games, but yeah, sad to say. But a really fun game, really unique, and really good. And now it's time for Operation Wolf. And Operation Wolf, where should we put it? I am actually going to put Operation Wolf on the S tier. It's superbly designed. I think it, I could just start immediately. You saw it. I, I, it, and it just felt right from the get-go. Uh, there was nothing strange about it. It was challenging. Um, the only thing that I have is the continue thing, uh, but otherwise it's just a great game. I would have loved it back then. I had a lot of fun with it now, and I will probably play it again. And my worry that I've had for 35 years that this game would not translate um, well by not having a light gun was not true. It was an extremely good game and probably a top 10 or even a top 5 arcade conversion for the ZX Spectrum. And that's it. Um, I'd like to thank uh, again Watt of Norkers and Violet Berlin for the intro video. Uh, I'd like to thank Ritzy as well for helping me out with uh, the Kakaboom comment, which I am unable to say myself. Um, and yeah, that's it. 